What's going on everyone? My name is Matt. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about what to do when a client wants to cancel their service. I want to share with you guys, I am doing a live webinar on March 19th on how to grow your cleaning business. If you're interested in learning how to build your business and learning about branding, marketing, customer service, sales, uh, and so many different topics, the link is in below. Go sign up right now. I'm also going to include into this whole webinar, I'm going to include templates that we use in our business, all the templates that we use, and then also you're going to get six months of my cleaning quote premium subscription included which is online booking for your website. So it helps you get more clients online. So that's gonna be included as well. So check that out. The link is in the description there. And now back to the video. Clients canceling a service that you provide. That's a big deal. No one wants to lose a client because that's your revenue. So I made three points here that you can do in order when someone says that they don't want your service anymore. Number one, if something went wrong where the service that you're providing something went wrong and the customer was unhappy with the service quality or the result that they got or the expectations they had weren't met and they want to cancel the service because of that. The first thing I would do would be to ask them what went wrong and why they're upset. Give them time to explain themselves and then open up to you to the reason to why they want to cancel the service and why they're upset, why the things, why their expectations weren't met with your service. And this is important because it shows your professionalism. It's a time for you to listen. It's a time for you to sit there and say, Mrs. Client, can you please explain to me what went wrong? I really want to understand this because this information helps me build a better business, helps me train my employees better, helps me provide a better service to all of our clients. So can you explain to me and share with me what it was that you didn't like or what were you expecting and what went wrong in this service that we provided? So right off the bat, that shows off that you're professional and it shows it shows that client that, that you are running a very professional business. Then next, you want to ask them straight up, what can I do to keep your business? By asking this question, you're showing the client that you care, that you care about their business and you care about them and their home. And by asking them, what can I do to keep your business? I know first you want to acknowledge that it went wrong, right? I understand. I understand why you're upset. I understand why we didn't meet, meet your expectations for the service. And I apologize about that. And we want to work on making it better. So what can I do to keep your business? By taking this position and showing the client that you care about them, that you're open to, under, to hearing and listening to what they have to say, and it shows that you are a professional business, that you are really, you really care about the results and the satisfaction of that person's uh, service. Now, this doesn't guarantee that the person is going to continue doing business with you, even if they don't want to continue the service. Uh, it does show that person that you um, are a professional business. Now, in the best case scenario, that client is going to say, "Well, that was very professional of you. I understand." these things can happen. And even when you, when you position yourself like that and you ask them to, you know, what can I do? And what, you know, what happened? I want to know because this helps us be better. It helps the client lower their guard because if they're upset because of something and they want to lash out, when you come to them in a professional manner and calm manner and you explain to them and you try to get their side of the story, it kind of lowers their guard and they'll start to see that you care about them. And then they'll be open to saying, well, you know, why don't we give this another shot? And that's what you want to fix whatever that went wrong and then show that client that you actually do provide a great service and you can do um, the things that you promised to them in the first place. Now, let's say nothing went wrong and it's just something that came up in the client's life that kind of puts them in a position where they have to cancel. So it's not your fault and it's just something that's personal to them that you have to cancel. What you should do in this moment is try to find alternatives, create other options for them that might meet them where they're at. So if they have an issue and because of that issue in their life or whatever it may be, they can't continue to service with you. Why don't you come to them and say, well, I understand these are the reasons why you are not going to be able to do business with us anymore. Uh, why don't we try this? Here are some different options. 
what do you, what do you think about these options? Do do you think these will work for you and will it, will it keep you on as a business because we really care about your business and we really appreciate your business and we want to keep it. So do these options work for you? By doing this, you're doing two things. One, you're showing that client options that they might not have seen. So a lot of times clients might be in a position where they think that they might not be able to continue the service, but in actuality they can, but they didn't think of the options that would allow them to continue being a client and continuing the service. So by you displaying some more options to them and saying, well, we have this, this is what, I, this is how, this is our flexibility. This is what we can do to make your life easier. Does this work? It shows them new options that they might not have been thinking of. And then number two, it shows that you care and it displays an excellent customer service. And customer service is all about trying to find new options and alternatives and solutions for that client's problems. And that's what great customer service is all about. Now, if you did all these things and it still didn't work, then the third thing I would say for you to do is to just let it go. You have to accept that even if something went wrong or something didn't go wrong and you sincerely tried everything you could to make that client happy and try to keep them and try to keep continue their business and they still don't want it, then you're just going to have to accept it and just say and just move on into finding other clients. And the key to this is to not take it personally. I think a lot of times in a cleaning business, because it's such a personal service, because you're in that person's house, they get to know you, you get to know them. There's a trust, right? Relationship that's building there over time. And a lot of times cleaning business owners can take it very personally when a client wants to cancel. And I've, you know, done this myself. It actually annoys me sometimes that, you know, we've had clients cancel you know, services with us, don't take it personally. If clients want to cancel, let them cancel. As long as you know at the end of the day that you did everything you could to try to make their lives better, to try to fix the situation, to try to uh, make them happier, as long as you did everything that you could in your power to make it better for them and they still didn't accept it, then it's up to them. And that's something that you just have to accept and move on with. Because remember, things will go wrong in a, every business, in every business. There's no business that things don't go wrong, where the customer or a client isn't upset because of something uh, that went you know, away it shouldn't have gone. Um, don't be so hard on yourself if that's something, if you lost a client because of a mistake you made and they just they didn't want to accept any solutions and they just said, I want to cancel it. Don't be hard on yourself. Just learn it, take it as a lesson, be better, build better. And, uh, and look towards the future and always keep going forward. That's all that matters. As long as you keep building and you're looking forward to, towards that next new client, that's all that matters. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.